Sometimes when you're recording, you get stuff that looks like this, but you want it to look like this. Welcome back to Creator Reality, my friend. I'm John, and I was recording with my Samsung S25 recently, and no matter what kind of camera or phone you're using to record your video on, you could encounter this issue. So, in today's video, we're going to fix it with one node in DaVinci Resolve's color page. Now, before we get there, I'm gonna show you a couple of other little things, because that's what I like to do, but let's dive into DaVinci Resolve, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here we are in Resolve. I've got my two clips. You can see this one looks really washed out and so does this one. And if you're used to color grading, you might think it was recorded in log, but I checked the settings on my phone, it was not recorded in log, it was recorded in HDR, and I think what was happening was the phone was trying to make everything look good and it made nothing in my eyes look good. I'm not really sure, but I do have a fix for it. So let's dive into the color page. We're gonna click on our first clip here, and we're just gonna click on the color icon, and here we are. Now, I did mention I was going to give you a little extras because we could use kind of the curves to fix this. I've done it in a couple other videos, but you can just drag this up and around or back over here like this and make it maybe look better, but that didn't really do anything good. So we're going to right click on our node, reset node grade. I could take this footage and I could bump up the contrast, bump up the saturation, give it a little bit of color boost. That looks okay. We could bring the shadows down a little bit. And that's starting to look a little bit better. But there's an easier fix for this. Let's go do that now. So we're gonna right click, select Reset Node Grade. I'm gonna hold Alt and press S to create a new serial node, just in case. And then up here in Effects, if you don't see it, click on Effects, it's right there. We have a magnifying glass. We wanna click on the magnifying glass and type in ACES. And that gives us the ACES Transform. By default, we have ACES Transform set to 2.0, Input Transform, Output Transform, and a Gamut Compress. And we're going to collapse the Gamut Compress. We don't need that for this, but we do need an Input Transform. Now, here's a pro tip with these drop-down boxes in DaVinci Resolve. You can click on something to give you the uh, drop-down, click on it again, and then use your mouse wheel the second time to uh, scroll through them. So you'll see that we're already changing things, right? And if I open this, we've got a lot of selections. And depending on what kind of camera or phone or whatever your recording device was, you can select one that best meets your needs. But if you've got a Samsung S25, let me show you the fix here real quick. I'm gonna go all the way down to sRGB texture, and that looks better already. And then for the output transform, I'm gonna find sRGB and choose linear, and job done. Going full screen, this looks so much better than the original footage. It does crush the blacks a little bit. Now look, I didn't mention it earlier, but I wasn't exactly in charge of the lighting on this one. It was kind of a spur of the moment vlog recording for my other channel, and it was late in the day. So I had the sun facing me and a lot of shadows in the truck, so it crushed the the blacks, but the phone did a great job of trying to equalize all of that, which I commend it for, but it wasn't just drop it into timeline and go. So it had to be fixed, right? Anyway, back to our footage here. I think this looks a lot better. You can see the detail on my face. You can see some shadows here, and you can see the color of my hat is orange, and it's supposed to be. If we go scroll through this clip a little bit, you can see that the skin tones and everything look right. Now, if you wanna see if your skin tones are right, there's a fix for that. There's a visual aid built into Resolve. Let's take a look at that. So down here in the lower right-hand corner of the color page, you might see scopes with parade or you might see keyframes, but let's click on the graph icon here and you'll see scopes parade. We can drop down to vector scope and it shows where all the colors are in your frame in this, uh, in this pie chart looking deal. And if you click on this levels or equalizer icon, you get all these options. We wanna show skin tone indicator, and it's right here. It's this line right there. And you can see that a lot of my colors are on that line. So this shows that I got the skin tone and white balance pretty much correct with just that one change. Pretty cool, right? So there's one more thing that we should do, and that is if you wanna save this for future use, you're gonna to wanna to use a power grade. So let's create one of those now. Start by clicking on gallery. If you don't see it, it's right there. and 
I have a whole bunch of bins, but you can right click in the blank space and add power grade album. And I'm going to press F2 to rename it. And I'm going to call it Demo Samsung because I'm creative. Now with that selected, you can either hold Control Alt and G or you can come up to the color menu, stills, grab still. And it's going to grab this still. And then if you click right beneath the numbers, you can enter a name. So we'll call it Samsung S25 fixed. And then anytime you have another clip, like here's our other clip that we had, we can just take this power grade, drag it on, and the footage is fixed. But John, the shadows look too dark here. Whoa, 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 I got you, I got you. Well, with our node selected, we can create another serial node, and then we can bring the shadows up a little bit if you want. That's okay, that doesn't look too bad. But when I turn here, if I double click to reset shadows, yeah, it's a little bit on the dark side. Maybe we want to control Z and undo all that. And with our ACES transform node selected, we can come over to the key menu here or key area and we can drag our key output gain down. So that'll bring our shadows up and then Alt S to create another serial node. We want to bring that saturation back up a little bit maybe. And our shadows are good, but maybe the highlights are too high. You can really play around with it now. We can bring our contrast back up. Yeah, not too shabby. And that kind of brings things a little bit better. Yeah, see, you can see my face again. And that's it. That's a pretty quick fix. I know there was a lot more into it than just adding that one node and setting that one thing, but you can go in and depending on the issue that you're having, you can just play around with that ACES transform. You can play around with the contrast and the saturation, and you can get into some other things like what's in this video here. Yeah, some more color page tweaks. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. I do hope you learned something. Until next time, have a great day. John out.